writing code. Most people think that code writing is an impossible process. But with hard and sufficient work, anything can be accomplished. Hello everyone, I am Joseph. Today I am 16 years old and I have been developing my own mobile apps and games for two years. I will answer all questions such as what languages I learned and how many hours in a day I worked. I will also tell you how to learn faster. So if you are ready, let's get started. When I first encountered coding, I was 14 years old and I didn't know anything about creating an algorithm. Being able to design has always been a passion for me. For this reason, knowing coding was necessary to be the creator of the digital universe. Once I decided to learn code, I did some research. Python was the most recommended language for beginners, so I started to learn Python. I watched many tutorial videos and I learned how to write simple codes, such as simple math operations. When I first started, it was slow, but I never gave up and kept moving forward. After a month, I learned the basics of software development with Python. I was able to build a calculator with what I learned. Once you have learned the basics, it's possible to do anything you imagine with Python. There are many libraries developed for Python. It is possible to create algorithms that can be used in many different areas with these libraries. Coding was a fun process for me. I was wearing headphones and spent hours developing something. It was indescribably satisfying to see that the code was working. I was satisfied every time I saw my codes working. One of the things I really wanted to do was to create my own games. I enjoyed playing games. So game development was one of my biggest dreams. It is also possible to develop games with Python. But many more advanced programming languages and game engines are available for game development. So I didn't waste any more time improving myself in Python. I did some research on game development and found the Unity game engine. Unity is the most widely used game engine. Unity game developers use C Sharp programming language and object-oriented programming language. There are a lot of C-sharp tutorial videos on YouTube to facilitate the learning curve. I started learning in a very short time by watching these videos. I learned most of the basics with C-sharp tutorial videos. Then I start watching Unity tutorial videos. Learning is more manageable while working on a project. For this reason, I have developed many Unity projects until now, and my learning process continues every day. I was 14 when I coded my first game. Today I am 16 years old, and I have created 15 games so far. I have been enjoying learning game development for 2 years. Apart from game development, I have also been interested in different areas, such as mobile development in some periods. The first mobile application I developed was the Pomodoro Counter application. It had a very cool UI design. This app has been released on both Google Play Store and Apple App Store. In fact, the Pomodoro Counter application has exceeded 300,000 downloads instantly. In short, I can say that programming languages are basically very similar to each other. Operators and variables work the same in most programming languages. The only thing that has changed is how you set up the algorithm structures. Once you learn one, it is straightforward to comprehend the others. Today, we can easily reach everything we want to learn at any time. You can find anything you want with a few searches on Google. Software development has a community that uses the internet very actively. In this way, you can instantly solve any problem you get stuck with. What matters is how you use what you know. Game development, building a website, a mobile app. You will need coding for all of them. Creating and learning are hobbies for me. I will continue to work every day to reach my goals. I believe that I will be a very creative and talented engineer in the future. Thank you for watching this video until the end. I hope the video was inspiring for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the following videos.